Occupation is a fixed-time investigative thriller. All of what you're about to see is in-game footage. The location is Turing City. The year is 1987. A bomb has been detonated, 23 people are dead, and as a response, the Union Act will restrict people's freedoms and grant power to the people who created it. Welcome to the Bowman Carson facility. We have an interview with Carla Berman, the head of PR for the company at the heart of this controversy. We play as Harvey Miller, an investigative journalist. We're about to confront Carla with the evidence that she's been printing misleading figures about the Union Act. So I gather you've got some questions you'd like to ask me. We're asking the question, does your propaganda knowingly obscure the Union Act figures? If by propaganda you mean the important work I do here, then I'd ask you to be a little bit more respectful of the current political climate, Mr Miller. We are very thorough with our work here, so I'm sure whatever you think you found will be easily clear. It looks like we've offended Carla with what we've uncovered. Let's see how we ended up here. We've just received a page from our editor. She wants to talk to us from a public payphone. Every action in the occupation takes time, and an hour in the real world is an hour in game. Harvey, it seems as though Alex Dubois may have hidden some information in there which proves the Bowman Carson Group are intentionally inflating figures based around the Union Act. I'm sure Carla Berman may have a thing or two to say about those figures, since she's the one spreading them in her print media. Anyway, uh, let me know what you find. Well, you can come over and take a look if you don't trust me. Yeah, all right then. No, it's important to be quiet in an out-of-bounds area if you don't want to be spotted doing something you shouldn't. The characters of the occupation are perceptive and won't go easy on a trespasser. I think it might be on a floppy disk, but we're not sure. You know, Alex, it could be anywhere. Well, for now, we're looking for a floppy disk. I'll let you know if that changes. It looks as if Alex Dubois, the man accused of setting up the explosion, has lost a floppy disk with sensitive data on it. We need to find and print any evidence we uncover. Exploration is key to finding valuable information for your meetings, and a good journalist leaves no stone unturned. No floppy disks detected. The note we just found says that a staff member may have lost a floppy disk with sensitive information on it in Carla's office, and that scaffolding outside Alex Dubois' office might be a good way to sneak in. We need to find and access the scaffolding. It's important to know that there are many ways that we could have gained access to this office. We could have spied on Carla while she was typing in her passcode. Please enter PIN. We could have snuck in through a service vent. Or we could have pulled a fuse to disengage the lock to her office. But for this example, we'll use the window that we've just learned about. We're looking for a floppy disk, but this doesn't look like the right one.
Perhaps he dropped it on the floor the last time he was here. There it is. For those of you with good memories, don't expect to find the disc here in the final game. Let's check the contents of the disc before we leave. This is definitely the right disc. We need to print it out before our meeting. We should have been more careful. Now we'll have to restore the data before we can print it out. And with security watching us, we'll have to be extra careful not to be seen. We might need this token to print out the document. Let's take a look around the office while the disc is rebuilding. This alarm could have been easily avoided if we'd paid attention to our surroundings. Oh, you set this alarm off. The disc is finished. Time to get out of here before security spots us. Just going to the box. Uh, listen, Mr. Miller, I know this probably has nothing to do with you, but there was an alarm that went off earlier on, so if you could just make sure to stay in the allocated areas, that would be great. We got off lightly that time. The characters around the world might not have seen us do it, but they know that someone has been snooping around, and they'll focus more on our actions as a result. out just in time for our meeting. They suggest that Carla Berman was lying about the figures she was printing. Hello, Mr. Miller. Please come in and take a seat. This was just one of the leads we could have followed to ask a great question in our meeting, and there were many ways we could have achieved our goal. Find out how you'll do it when our game is released very soon. From everybody at White Paper Games, thank you for your time and be sure to check out the occupation.